we heard that German manufacturer Sunlight had decided to name its first ever range of van conversions Cliff, there were quite a few smiles raised in the practical motorhome office, as well as numerous jokes made about them being perfect for people going on a summer holiday. But then we took a look at the vans in the metal and we realised just how hugely impressive they actually were, not least because the range starts at less than £40,000. They're so impressive, in fact, that this particular model, the Cliff 601, has just won the best budget motorhome category in our 2018 Motorhome of the Year Awards. To find out why, let's take a look inside. Step into the front of the 601 and you'll see that it's pretty standard van conversion fare. This particular model is based on the 6 metre Fiat Ducato chassis. Behind me is the Fiat Ducato cab. This particular van doesn't have a radio fitted as standard. There is, however, a 12 volt socket and a couple of USB points ready for your mobile phone charging lead. This van is also fitted with a standard manual six-speed gearbox. Both of the cab seats swivel. They're fitted in this brown upholstery, which may or may not appeal to you. There's not a huge amount of headroom up here, but usefully there is a cubby hole up top in which you could store maps or guidebooks to stop them rolling around when you're in transit. To the right of the cubby hole is this control panel. It's pretty basic looking, but it does everything you need and it's really easy to operate. Opposite that, above the kitchen hob, is the control panel for the Truma Combi 4 heating. It's also iNet ready, which means that you can operate it via an app on your smartphone. The two swiveled cab seats are slightly higher up than the two forward facing belted seats, which you can see here. That's because there's a step up into the lounge. Now it's not ideal because it means that if you've got short legs and you're sitting in these cab seats, then your legs do tend to dangle a little bit. That said, the table is pretty good and moves forwards and backwards to reach all of the occupants here. These little spotlights are a particular favourite of mine. All you have to do, if they're not in the right place, is twist them off, stick them where you want them, put them back on again. Van conversions can sometimes feel a little bit compact and slightly claustrophobic inside, but this sliding door in the Cliff 601 really helps to alleviate that. What's more, you can also shut this fly screen blind to keep all the bugs out. Now you wouldn't expect a kitchen in a 6 metre van conversion to be huge, but actually this example is pretty good. There's a decent amount of work surface space if you use this lift up flap at the end. There's also a two burner Dometic hob and a decent sized rectangular sink with chrome tap. There's no oven or grill in this particular model, but there is excellent storage thanks to three good sized drawers below the hob and this excellent cupboard. Completing the kitchen equipment is this Thetford 90 litre fridge which has a removable freezer compartment too. You're never going to lack storage opportunities in this motorhome either. Have a look at this massive wardrobe, it goes all the way back. It's half height as well with plenty of room for hanging your clothes. There's also a great size cupboard underneath. All of these lockers have positive catches so they're not going to open in transit either. As you can probably tell, this washroom really is the smallest room. It's not very big at all, not a huge amount of headroom either, so if you're particularly tall, you might struggle. That said, it is pretty well equipped. There's a swivel cassette toilet, there's a decent sized sink, and the tap doubles up as a shower head. There's also this handy fold down rack. Simply pull it down, and you can hang up wet clothes or towels to dry them out. So we've seen the rest of the Cliff 601, but it's towards the back of the van where you'll find its real unique selling point. And that's the fact that it has a bunk double bed. That's right, a bunk double bed. There's one here and one up top. Both of them can hold a pair of adults. This top one is reached via a ladder. And despite the fact it doesn't drop down very low, there's still quite a bit of headroom and it's a nice bright space thanks to this roof light up above. Of course, if there's just the two of you, you don't have to use both of the beds for sleeping. Watch this. All you need to do is move the cushions out of the way, flip this unit up, and you've a through storage way that's just perfect for bikes or any other kit. What's more, it keeps it safe underneath you while you're sleeping. So the Cliff 601 is a flexible little motorhome, but it's the price that's really key to this range. It starts at less than £40,000. Even when you add in the few extras that Loudoms has put onto this particular model, you're still only looking at £45,980. For that, you get a great looking, well-built little motorhome that will keep you going for years to come.